this beats tired and aching Although nothing has happened yet of your life or take what they're given Are you sick of proving your right waiting No way What kind of people would ask you What kind of Arnie, I might have to move. Well, you know, Pooja, you probably shouldn't quit that fourth job. But I grew up believing that as I grew older, I'd be able to afford more, not less. Well, maybe all you have to do is want less, and then you're set. Besides, where would you move to? Okay, you're not going back to Forest Grove. That is not happening. Hell no, I'm not doing that. No. No, but I mean, something has got to give. Do you and Darren share your rent? When we moved in together, yeah. it changed everything. And you know we split more than just rent. We share electricity, internet, Xbox Live, cable, wow. lube costs. Wow, that's some serious sharing. Mm -hmm. And now I have all this extra money for arm waxing and wine coolers. And on Saturdays, counterculture, artisanal, light roast coffee. Okay, so now I can just Whoa. say no to breakfast plan. <laughs> just say no to breakfast <laughs> plan. That's fantastic. Saturdays are gold. You know, and today is a very special Saturday. You mean there's something more special than watching you chisel off your Grundies with a dinner knife? Okay, Pooja, these are my delicates, okay? No, today is my two and a half year anniversary with Darren. Oh, Arnie, you're not even married. And dating is a non-accomplishment. Anyone can date. My 12-year-old sister, she has a boyfriend that she met online in an iCarly chat room and they do nothing together. They have no plans for the future. Pooja, you're projecting right now. Okay, Constantino hurt you very badly years ago and you're still not over it and you're still mourning Brandon that you're in denial about it. But here's the deal. You have to embrace your pain or not gonna get better, okay? Embrace your pain, feel it. Feel Ow. the pain, do you feel that? Arnie, 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 okay, Mr. Psychotherapist, but you don't know what you're talking about. The only issue I have, besides being broke, is the fact that my best friend celebrates half-year non-anniversaries. Well, 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 love is a very beautiful thing. Oh, and that's why you're scrubbing the skid marks off your man's chin, I mean, jock strap. It's Darren's, and I would do anything for him, okay? He's I, the love of my life. He's I, the love of my goddamn life. How does that even work? Okay, it cups the balls so that it's in one place and the rest is exposed, the butt is exposed. I just get emotional thinking about it. You know what, you guys are so obnoxious, I just can't take it. And you're not making this easy on me. What do you mean? I do think I need to get a, a roommate. What do you, you have a one bedroom apartment. There's no room for another bed, what are you talking about? You should get this. I want a boyfriend! Pooja! Oh my god, this is so amazing! This is, oh my god! I was so worried about your eggs! I want our children to grow up together. I'm gonna pretend you just didn't say that. I don't want babies. I just want to find someone to help me pay my bills. It's no big deal! Okay, but this is a big deal. You haven't dated anyone in years. You're a grad school dropout. You're a freelancer. You got this side ponytail. That's cute. You eat, no, you eat sardines out of a can in public, yeah, babe. Okay, so it's bad. gonna be hard for you. You're just a tough sell. No offense. What's the plan? Are you gonna go on Craigslist and, you know, interview folks about who's willing to share a bed with you? Well, I did think of that, but I think it would come across as super creepy. Okay, but everything about this is creepy. I'm very <laughs> proud of you. Well, okay, so my dad, he always told me in order to accomplish any goal, I must write it down. So I think I'm gonna just try that. Okay, great, because you cannot continue on like this, okay? What is Newton's first law of motion? A body at rest will stay inert unless external force is applied. 
Exactly, and in this case, the external force is a big purple claw. Ah! Oh my God, Darren's penis is purple? Yeah, yeah. Disgusting. No, of course you're all the... Oh, all right, this is not helping me at all. Okay. I'm gonna set up an Excel spreadsheet with 100 things I'm looking for in a man. And then I'll sort the list and use the top 50 as a starting point from which I'll build a Venn diagram. And then when I meet someone that's potential boyfriend material, I'll fill in the diagram. And if there's a shared subset of 20 or more items, I'll keep them in mind for future dating possibilities. Okay, great. So you'll meet your match when he runs over your tits with his wheelchair. Just, it does not need to be that complicated. Um, oh. <laughs> okay, thank you. What? Okay, all right, so what about something easy, something simple, like the guy for me checklist? Well then, we'll do you, TG4M, the guy for me checklist, yeah, but just none of this rich, handsome, intelligent bullshit. No, nothing. Darren! Oh my God, he's taken this pizza and used it almost as a canvas for our love. Well, has anyone ever done this for you? No. This feels very specific to my experience. I don't like pepperoni. This is incredible. Oh. Do you think any braces? No, why would you do that? Your teeth are totally straight. Well, just because I have an unusual bite and Darren said that I need braces, he just thinks I should get them. Oh, when did you notice that? Well, just here. As soon as he told me, put your finger in my mouth. Ouch. Okay, yeah, he's right. You See, definitely, that's yeah, what I'm definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I use some of that? Thank you. Mm. He is so fly. So cute. <laughs> Cute is not on the TG4M checklist. OMG TG4M and W and <laughs> BRB JK. <laughs> I just forgot about the TG4M. Did I did you make it? I did it. it. I did it. Check it out. Totally. This is, see this? Oh yeah, must know how to compost. Makes so much sense for you. I can just imagine you with a hippie, hippie boyfriend, very Lilith Fair, you know, very 90s. It's very you. I get it. I get yeah. it. Yeah. Just kind of, you know, you know, potato peels and patchouli and you know, rope sandals decomposing, just emanating so from your yurt. Well, you know, sexy. Well, you know, um, eggshells and coffee grounds. Those are the best things uh, for composting. That's right. I've heard that. Yeah, yeah. I've I've heard they work wonders on roses. Oh yeah, you should see uh, our community garden. Oh, the the, the rose bushes there. Like, oh, okay, excuse me. there's no way I'm gonna spend Saturday night talking about flowers unless it's tulips oh. like these two right here. Okay. Mm. <laughs> ladies, ladies, ladies. This is Chester. Chester, this is Pooja, and my boyfriend Arnie. Nice I am Arnie. Yeah, I want to apologize. I'm kind of sweaty. I, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I really appreciate you inviting me out. I mean, it, it's been so long, you know, since since I've been out with random people on a Saturday night. And it's been so long since I've been called random. Oh, no, I didn't mean it that way. I'm sorry. Chester, we know exactly what you mean. I think it's refreshing to be out with a group of people who have no preconceived notions of who you are. They don't know who you've hurt in the past. They don't know where you've been, what you stand for, what your job is, who, you know, your children are if you have them. You've got to come here. All oh, that psychoanalytical babble makes a man go crazy. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Chester, what do you usually do on Saturday nights? Oh, uh, well, I usually just like lay back, you know. I I, I like to drink uh, cheap red wine and uh, you know, I watch like classic films, you know. Right now, um, I'm in the middle of the Apu trilogy. Yeah. Honestly, mm -hmm. I cannot believe you're watching the Apu Trilogy because yeah. Satyajit Ray yeah. is my favorite filmmaker of all time. Mm. And his storytelling, is, is, there's like such a simplicity to it, but there's a layered complexity that, that no one compares to. No, totally. Like the, the realm of human emotion like that he depicts. I mean, you don't see that in, in today's like Bollywood or Hollywood films, you no. know? You know no. what? Ambien has got nothing on you two. Mm. I really could have used this conversation during my insomnia attack. <laughs> oh God. Let's, you know what, let's go. You wanna go get place? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Do you guys wanna come? Yeah, like I can get baby ones. That's totally <clears throat> fine. I'm good. All right, well, uh, we're gonna go, and it's our anniversary, so happy yeah. yeah. anniversary. Thank you. Hi. So how long have you known Darren? Oh, I'm, uh, I met him today. Whoa. What, what's up? Do you have eczema? Yeah, 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 I got it. Me too. Oh, really? Yeah, I, ha I have it like in the elbows, behind yeah. the knees, oh, really? ear canals, yeah, yeah. Um, small in my back, armpits. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, this one is just so annoying. It just keeps coming back. Ooh. Wow. You, you know what? I had a flare up once so bad that I scratched both my arms so hard that I infected it, and I had these 
giant blisters with green pus oozing out. It was so disgusting. My parents nursed me back to health. I don't know what I would do without them. What about you? I guess I, I didn't realize how much I, I loved my parents uh, until they got killed. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. They got mauled by a grizzly bear and they saved me. A, a grizzly bear attack? Yeah. How does that happen? Were you traumatized as a child? No, this happened like a couple months ago. We went to Alaska and, and I mean, they were like eating right in front of me, like, like limb from limb, or in my father's case, uh, prosthetic limb by prosthetic limb. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just starting to get over it. Oh. Now, you know? And your mom was defending you? Yeah, she was defending me, you know, her grown son. Oh, I didn't mean to make this conversation so heavy, it's Chester. It's it's I, I'm sorry. Oh, hey, you know. Well, thanks for sharing the grisly details. So good, so good. That's a great man. So good. Oh. And and you've seen Shannon Wright live? Seen her when she was in town last year. I was there, front and center. Front and center? I was yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's so good. She's unbelievable. Oh, I really enjoy her. She's yeah. one of the best guitar players yeah. ever. Yeah. I, 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 I just, I idolize her. Yeah, no, awesome, she's, she's a genius. She's a genius. She's a genius. Did you see those guys up front? They're awful, awful. They had these amateur air guitar moves. Oh, yeah, I saw, yeah. I, I, I was one of them. No, yeah, no, yeah, they yeah, were yeah. they were awful. Well, they were, I was, I was, they were, I was, and, and I was obnoxious. And, and and one of them had this neon pink Yolo trucker's cap. You know, he's wearing it like. He thought yeah, it was so you know cool. who that was? That was me. No, <laughs> that was me. What? Like this? It was yeah. this one. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah. I told you. Yeah, it was me. A FOMO hat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was you. Yeah, it was me. Why oh. you were so awful? Yeah. Oh. But you know what? You yeah. were. <laughs> but you became my inspiration. I, I inspired you. Yeah. That is unbelievable. That's crazy. That's too, I can't believe that. How is this happening? That's too much. That's too much. I'm just, oh, I'm, man. I mean. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go. Oh, everybody got a shot. Let's see some shots. Some great moves tonight, I tell you. Wow. Oh, thanks. You know, that's the first time I've ever shared the crumple with someone. Wow. It's my calling card. Well, I, I feel special, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you showing me the crumple, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you are special. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait, what? what Whoa. What, what, what is what's, oh. what's that? Oh, uh, that's Brandon. I told you about Brandon. You said Brandon was dead. Oh, but Chester, he's not, he's not alive. Oh. I had him freeze dried over a year ago. Oh, yeah. all right, well, yeah. So now, you know, you're able to live with your frozen dead pet forever. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, I mean, Brandon's more like a member of the family for me. He, he just, like, looks so surprised. Yeah, Brandon electrocuted himself. Oh. Yeah, he had a real thing for the vacuum. I'm just thankful that his body was fully intact when he passed away. 
Yeah. Because it just made it so we could be in this comfortable, cozy, laying down position. He does look comfortable. He's so natural. He looks happy. Mm, boo boo. Love oh, you, boo-boo. You're a good kid. This is my brand. Here, you, good you, kid. Oh. you hold him. I'll just sure. Sure. So, boy, this cat, uh, and now is, is, is he a Persian oh, cat? Oh, yeah. He, he's, maybe he's Indian. I'm not sure. I don't he know. He looks like a tiger to me. Yeah. My aunt had a cat like this. She called him the Marshmallow. Oh, that's a sweet name. Was he fat? Yeah, he was. Yeah. I have like a feeling he doesn't like me. Um, but he can't not like you, Chester. He's dead. That's a dead cat. Ah! <laughs> what? Oh, Brandon tased me. Tased me in the chest. But maybe you were just shocked by the static from his fur. Brandon's dead. No, do you understand what's happening here? No, you tell me. Yeah. I've been trying to convince myself that Brandon's been dead, but he seems to stay alive in everyone's hearts, not just mine. I'm not talking about, about Brandon. No. This, this isn't about Brandon. Oh. Okay, do you want to be cremated or buried? Huh? What? I don't, I'm confused. You, you figured out why I asked you here, right? Yeah, you want... Would you like to be my roommate? Your roommate? Yeah. Oh. Pooja, like, my parents, well, they when they died, they left me their mansion in Long Island. I, like, I, I live rent-free. I mean, I got a maid. Oh, oh that makes sense. Uh, yeah, why would you want to move in with me? Listen, uh, I know about your TG4M checklist. How do you know about that? Well, the guys, I mean, you know, Arnie forwarded it over to Darren and Darren forwarded it to me. Man, You're no. shitting me. No, no, they set this whole night up for you. They, they did it for you. Like, what? They, they really care about you. Oh, yeah? I mean, they make me feel like a complete fucking idiot. If anybody's an idiot, it's me, all right? I, I mean, I, I, <laughs> I don't compost, I, I hate art movies, what? I love Sudoku. What? I, my, my parents were nasty to me my whole life and when they got mauled, even though they didn't save me, like they got what was coming to them. Oh my God. They, that's what they, I, I hated them. Whoever you are, you need to get out right now. I, All right, well, hey, you know, I'll get out, but you know, I, you gotta understand, like I, I, I have eczema, I do have it, you know? I love Indian food. Anything with a little curry makes me so okay, happy. Yeah, I get, I get it, I get that. My parents were mauled by a grizzly bear. But I've had the most wonderful night with you. The question is, Chester, did I have a wonderful night with you? You invited me here now just because you wanted a roommate, but like I'm okay with that dishonesty. So what, now you're better than me? No, 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 I mean, I, I, I lied too. You're, you gotta leave, you have to leave. I don't even understand what you're talking about. This is awful. I had a wonderful night. Yeah. I'm sorry, I forgot my eczema. My cream can... I'll get it for you. Up Smarties and Pixie Sticks Ooh. made especially oh, for you. Yes, 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 yes. There, the there, 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 there. You you, we're watching a movie right now. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. What, what kind of movie is this? Boring this movie. Is, a is it classic. bored part three? 
Yeah, is it I don't like this part too? If it's not Hope Floats, I don't like it. Could you guys be quiet? That was a good one, baby. Uh, oh my god, why, why do you have the burn marks on your shirt? <laughs> You got tased, didn't you? You got tased. I'm telling you, you gotta watch that thing. You wicked little pussy cat. Darren! <laughs> oh, oh my god! Tased me, man! Brandon, what's wrong with you, you crazy psycho pussy cat? Dang, bro! I don't know your if I'm alright. Do, am I alright, honey? Oh, Did you see yeah. this? It's, mm. I swear to God, if you left a mark, Darren, that, I do not talk to Brandon like this. Right? He didn't do anything. He's dead. He tased me in my face. How would you feel? And he chased Chester in his chest hair. And he's about to tase me. Psycho cat. Please do not face it towards me. Please do not face it towards me. What are you doing? Are you sucking it? Or this shit is this. I don't even. What you know? What you think? Oh, I heard. <laughs> you <laughs> you taste me. What's wrong with you? Crazy pussy cat. Man. <laughs> 